lot of people are ignorant about this word toxic. A lot of people tend to use this word toxic, toxic, and many people do not even know the meaning of toxic. Now, I'm going to be telling you guys four ways to know that you're in a toxic relationship. Because many of you are in a toxic relationship and you don't even know. Some people think that toxic is when a man hits you or when a man blow you or when a woman hits you. No, you can be in a toxic relationship in different ways. Number one way to know you're in a toxic relationship, stagnancy. If you are in a toxic relationship or in a toxic marriage and you are not moving and you are stagnant, you are toxic. Because when two people become one, it is expected that better things are supposed to happen. That is the reason why you got yourself involved in a relationship or in a marriage. It's because you understand that where there is a teamwork, it grows faster and it becomes more bigger. So when you're in a relationship or you get yourself involved in a marriage and you are not growing and you are not moving, you are stagnant, it simply means you are in a toxic relationship. What is stagnancy? Stagnancy simply means when you are in a particular place, when there is no movement. Poverty is stagnancy. Failure is stagnancy. It is movement that is called success. No matter how small you are moving, even if it's one, one step, it simply means you are progressing. But when you are standing in a particular place, it simply means you are not progressing. You are going to be poor. So when you are in a relationship and you are not moving, your partner is not moving you forward, your partner is not pushing you, your partner is not growing you, your partner is not supporting you, my darling, you are dating yourself. You are in a toxic relationship because there is something about a movement. When you are moving, you tend to meet people. When you are moving, you tend to meet ideas. When you are moving, you tend to be creative. When you are moving, you are progressive. So when you are in that relationship where a man is telling you, stand here, don't do here, don't go here, don't fly here, don't sit here. The man wants you to be that same person that he knew 10 years ago. Or the woman wants you to be that same person that she knew 10 years ago. It simply means you are in a toxic relationship i want you to have that at the back of your mind love is not stagnant love is a movement i have told you guys these things a lot of times there are some things you people need to unlearn and relearn new things there's a basic factor that people always say oh if you love me do this thing for me if you love this thing do this thing for me if you are standing because of somebody and the person is moving it simply means that you are a foolish person if you are that woman that is allowing your husband to progress that is allowing your husband to walk and make money while you are seated in the house like an object like a furniture you are a foolish person because love is a movement the man is going to abandon you and go and marry a lady a slave queen that is moving that is doing something for herself there are some relationship you get in some people are not used to growth when you start to grow they say you start to change some people don't want you to grow some people want you to remain in that pace that they met you yes but you have to grow Growth simply means expand. You have to be able to break the container that they put you before and break out of it and get into a bigger container. So if you're in that relationship and your boyfriend, your husband does not want you to grow above the thing that they met you before, you're in a toxic relationship. Because when people want to mess you up, the first thing they do is they make you stagnant and make you dependent on them. So that when they want to leave you just like this and you just fall and scatter to the ground. Make sure that there is a movement if you are in a relationship, don't stand for any man. Don't stand for any woman. Keep moving. Love is a movement. Anybody that asks you to stand for them in the name of love, tell them that the Kuro Blessing said that it is a lie. That is not love. That is poverty. That's number one, stagnancy. Number two, on how to know that you are in a toxic relationship, lack of communication. When you cannot talk, ha! When you cannot express yourself, you cannot tell your partner how you feel. Maybe this is what you've done for me to me. Maybe you offended me here. Maybe you did this. You are in a toxic relationship. Because without communication, relationship cannot work. Marriage cannot work. So if you're in a relationship and you cannot talk, you are just there. You want to tell your husband something, you are doing like this. You are doing like this. You want to tell your wife something, you don't know. Mm -mm. You're in a toxic relationship. So get out of it. Relationship and marriage is about communication. This marriage is you admire. 20 years jubilee, 100 years jubilee, it is communication when you are able to express yourself. Because if you don't tell people how you feel, how are they supposed to know? You end up going to die. They're going to treat you the way you're not supposed to be treated. You are the one that is going to tell somebody, I don't like this. I like this. It is what you like and what you do not like that makes you a different personality, that makes you a unique personality, that makes you who you are. So if you don't communicate, how do people treat you? I wonder how people stay in such relationships. Like some people are actually suffering, you will take your hand and bondage yourself. 
my darling. You can break free. Number three, to know your toxic, toxic relationship, lack of freedom. When the man cannot give you your freedom, when your wife cannot give you freedom. If you're not free in a relationship, you cannot be anything. The essence of being in a relationship, number one, or in a marriage is trust. When you trust people, you give them their freedom. Let them be who they want to be. Let them do what they want to do. Is that not the reason why all of you wanted to be independent? Is that not the reason why all of you wanted to leave your father's house? Because you want to be free. Because you want to be able to have a mind of your own. If you are not free, you cannot have a mind of your own. If you are not free, you cannot create. Because you will not be free to think. You will be thinking what the next person is thinking. You will be allowing people to think for you. But when you have freedom of speech, freedom of thinking, you can create and recreate your own. So if you are in a marriage and you are in a relationship and you are not free, my darling, it simply means you are in a toxic relationship. What do I mean by freedom? A lot of men simply think that when I tell my wife, sit down here, stay here. When I bodyguard my wife, give her um, bodyguards or tell somebody to be looking at her. When I tell my wife not to walk, it simply means that I'm protecting her. That's not protection. That is insecurity. If you're that kind of man, I always tell your woman, stay here, don't move here. I don't want another man to say, you are insecure. You are not protecting her. Because any woman that wants to misbehave, she will misbehave with your driver. She will misbehave with that security guard. She will misbehave with your gate man. She will misbehave with your, boy, your, your, your best friend. You cannot stampede a woman. Any woman that is doing all those things is just pretending, maybe because of the things that she's benefiting from you. But if a woman wants to mess up, she is going to mess up, even right under your nose. So all those things you're doing is just insecurity. It is not protection. If you truly love people, you are going to allow them to be free. It is trust that is marriage because people will end up doing anything that they want to do. I don't believe in trapping somebody. Should be your parents trapped you. Should be your parents trying to tell you, sit down here, don't do it. Did you not jump fence? Should be your parents told you not to have sex. Did you not have sex? Did you not start sleeping around? Did they kill you? Our parents even protected us more than our husband. As young as we were, we still misbehave. So you think you can tie a full grown woman or you can tie a full grown man. Love is a decision. Marriage is a decision. Relationship is a decision. It's a choice people make. They made up their mind to be with you. You did not force them, except you forced them. If people make up their mind to be with you, allow them. Allow them to be free. Allow them to think. Don't think that all those things you are doing, you are trapping the woman. Eh, I want to protect her. I want to. It's not protection. It's insecurity. It's because you don't even know what you have. It's because you don't even know. It's because you don't even trust her. I always ask myself, why do you even marry people you don't trust? Or why do you even get into a relationship with people you don't trust? You just use your hand and bondage yourself. Allow people to be free. Okay? Number four, which is the last one, is fear. If you are in a relationship and you are living in fear, you want to do something, you are afraid, you are shaking. You cannot look at your husband in the face. You cannot look at your wife in the face. Somebody that you are making love to. A man that comes to the bed every night and pats your leg and penetrates you. You cannot express yourself. You can, you are, what are you afraid of? Even your father that trained you through university, through your life, you do not fear him. Why are you scared of your husband? Why should you even be scared of somebody you are married to? How do people actually get married? How do people actually pick a husband in this generation? Are women that desperate? That you will pick somebody you cannot talk to, somebody you cannot express yourself to, someone that cannot even give you your own freedom of speech. You will use your hand and bondage yourself. You're not going to be asking for help. You are the one that bondage yourself, my darling. Open the key. So if you're married to somebody that you are scared of, somebody you cannot express yourself to, it simply means that you're in a toxic relationship or you're in a toxic marriage. You need to get out of it. Toxic, toxicity doesn't mean when somebody hits you or when somebody slaps you or when somebody blows you. No. When you are living in fear, when you cannot express yourself, when you cannot be yourself, it simply means you are in a toxic relationship. You need to break out. The problem we have in the society we have today is that a lot of women have become so desperate. So the men actually feel that they are doing you a favor, marrying you. Because of your desperation. A lot of you just want a man in your life. You just want a husband in your life. You don't even know what to do with the man. Many of you tend to ask for things you don't know what to do with. It's not about getting things. It's about keeping things. When you're a desperate woman, you're going to get a lot of things that you cannot keep. And when you get things and you don't keep it, you don't have it. You're going to touch a lot of things. Yes, you will not be able to keep anything. You need to be able to understand why you are going into marriage. Why you need a man. What are you doing with a man? How is this man going to better me? How is this man going to grow me? The same thing when you're marrying a woman. Why, why do I need a woman? Leave society alone. Just allow society be. Those people are a bunch of people who don't even care about you. It's you that is going to stay with the person. If you're marrying somebody and there is not going to be a contribution, there's not going to be a betterment. Remain single. The essence of two people becoming one is to create a better thing, is to create a bigger thing. If you know the person is not going to better you, be better off single. 
Because I see so many beautiful women who were doing better when they were single than when they got married. I'm seeing so many handsome men who were doing better single than when they got married. The moment you got married and everything just scattered. It simply means you're in a toxic relationship. Because when you cannot communicate, when you cannot talk to your spouse, when you cannot tell your spouse how you feel, when you cannot tell them what you created in your head, how do you want them to contribute? You're not in a marriage. You're in a toxic relationship. You're only deceiving yourself. And at the end of the day, after fooling yourself, you will still come out of the relationship. That's the funniest part. There's something I used to tell people. If you don't want to face reality today, you are going to face reality tomorrow. And by then, it will be too late. It is better you take your time. Leave society alone. They will come for you when you are not married. And when you come out of the marriage, they will still come for you. Even when you are in the marriage, they will still come for you. The most important thing is you. Are you okay? It is you that is the most important thing. You marry, they will talk. You don't marry, they will talk. You divorce, they will talk. You call anything you do, they will talk. The most important thing is, are you okay? You are the most important thing. Forget society. Make the right choices. Understand why you are getting involved. In, let your why be very powerful when you are getting into a relationship and a marriage. A very powerful why. Why am I doing this? Do I need this? What will this add to my life? 